what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is phil i am happy to be back with another amazing recipe video today we are doing samosas and these are not your ordinary samosas guys so these samosas the wrappers are spiced guys which adds a lot of flavor to these samosas and the good thing is i'll be showing you a simple step by step on how to make these wrappers at home and i'm also going to show you how to to make this yummy green chutney sauce that you can serve with your samosas it is such an amazing dipping sauce for these samosas and also the samosas are filled with beef i'm also going to show you how to make the beef filling i love love samosas and let me tell you i can finish this bunch in just one sitting guys and let me guarantee you if you make this people are really gonna ask for more as usual i've listed all the ingredients for this recipe in the description box down below so don't forget to check on that so without saying more let's get started so you're first going to start by making the samosa wrapper so in your bowl you're going to add three cups of all-purpose flour to that i'm adding my spices so i've just added a teaspoon of dry parsley leaves half a teaspoon of cayenne powder half a teaspoon of paprika powder and also a teaspoon of salt so just go ahead and mix that well this may take about a minute next i'm following that with some warm water and then i'm going to first mix this using my spatula and once the dough starts to form I'm going to switch and use my hands so you're just going to go in with your clean hand and then you're going to quickly knead this for about two minutes or until the dough is firm and not sticky so once that is done you're going to cover your bowl with a clean kitchen towel and then you're going to let this rest for about five minutes so the reason why we let the dough rest is that we're just letting the gluten that's in the flour to loosen up and in turn it will make your dough be soft also easy and manageable to work with so next you're just going to put your dough on a working space so make sure you have a bigger working space and then you sprinkle a bit of flour you'll quickly knead this for about two minutes and you realize that your dough is soft at this point so for our next step we're just going to cut it into smaller pieces so this dough gives you about eight to nine pieces so make sure you have eight to nine equal pieces so mine gave me nine pieces next you're going to roll them into nice round dough balls as you see the way i've done here so make sure you repeat with the other remaining dough and next you're going to line them on a flat plate like this so just take a flat plate sprinkle some flour and then you're going to line the dough balls once you're done you're going to cover them with a paper or you can cover them with a kitchen towel this is just to prevent them from drying out when we are rolling them into small discs so now it's time to roll them so just sprinkle a bit of flour on each dough ball and then you're going to roll them into small discs about 10 centimeters in diameter so you're just going to continue with the other remaining dough balls until you're all done so this is just a quick reminder guys i've listed the ingredients for this recipe in the description box down below so don't forget to check on that so once you're done rolling all the dough balls we are going to go to our next step which is layering the rolled dough so first you will spread some vegetable oil and some flour so the reason why we're doing this is that it will help us separate the wrappers once they have been cooked so i like layering about five pieces on top of each other so since i have nine pieces of dough balls so my first batch has five pieces and the second batch has four pieces is so as you can see here one batch has five pieces the other one has four pieces so for our next step we're just going to roll them into a very big circle so make sure you have a bigger working space so you'll just lightly flat them and then you'll go in with your rolling pin you're going to roll them don't make them too thin 
so for our next step we are going to cook the wrappers so you have two options you can either heat them in the oven or you can just place them on a big pan like this and then cook them for about two to three minutes on low heat guys low heat until they are done so here the thing is just to cook them while turning and see the way i'm doing it here so as you can see mine are done next thing just remove them from the hot pan and then we are going to separate them so I know many of you here don't like making the wrappers at home because they find it very hard and like it has a lot of work. But let me tell you guys, it's actually very easy to make the samosa wrappers at home. And also homemade wrappers taste better than store-bought. And also these are spiced. I don't know if you can find any spiced samosa wrappers in the supermarket. But anyway, if you can find, go ahead and buy it to avoid all this hassle. So next we're just going to shape these cooked wrappers into nice rounds i don't like the hard part that's always at the end of the wrappers so you just have a nice round plate like this and then you place it on top you will shape that into nice round circle by just cutting all that unwanted part out and as you can see we have very nice round wrappers so next we are going to quarter them so you just have a ruler like this which will guide you to cut into nice quarters and then you're just going to cut them as the way i'm doing it here and by the way there are so many samosa wrapper methods out there but i always find this method very very easy anyone can use this method to make their wrappers at home so anyway you can always make these wrappers in batch and just store them in your fridge they can stay there for up to three months so now it's time to make our beef filling so for the samosas you can always use any filling that you like i always like beef or chicken filling so today we are doing uh, beef samosas and these are all the ingredients that we'll be using for our beef samosas so quickly we are going to cook our beef so in your pan you're going to add some vegetable oil and then you're going to add 500 grams of minced beef so you're going to cook this for at least eight minutes so when you're cooking you realize that the beef has some water in it so you're going to make sure that you cook this beef until all that water runs dry So once that water runs dry, you're going to add the spices. So I'm using a teaspoon each of garam masala, coriander powder, cumin powder, and I've also added some salt. You're going to mix that for about a minute. Next, you will add your onions. So I'm using two types of onions here. I've added chopped red and white onions. You are going to continue mixing this. This will take about a minute or two. And once that is done, we are going to add our greens so i'm adding freshly chopped coriander leaves and some chopped green onions so at this point you are going to switch off your heat and then you're going to quickly mix this for about a minute or two and once that is done you're just going to let that cool as we go to our next step so for our next step we're going to make the paste that we will use for our wrapper so we'll just need a bit of all-purpose flour with some water you'll go ahead and mix that until you have a nice Nice smooth paste. Now that everything is ready, let's form our samosas. So this is just how easy it is to fold the samosas. So just follow the way I'm doing it here. And also you can see our pocket that we will fill with the beef filling. So next you're just going to take a small amount of the paste. You're going to apply on that wrapper and make sure you nicely seal it. Once you're done, you're going to add the beef filling. So be generous with the 
beef filling make sure not to overfill the wrappers or else they will break when they are being cooked and we don't want that so once you're done you're going to apply the paste and seal that part as well so make sure that all the corners are sealed to avoid any oil going in the samosas when they are being cooked no one wants some greasy samosas so once you're done you're just going to line these samosas on a plate so you can always make these samosas in batches as well and just store them in your fridge and you can cook them whatever time you want So before we cook our samosas, let's first make the green chutney sauce, which I really, really love with my samosas. It's so very easy to make. So in your blender, you're just going to add some fresh coriander leaves. I've also added some ginger pieces. I've also added some green chili, some fresh lemon juice, some water, and also some salt. You're going to blend this until you have a nice smooth sauce like this. This, and as you can see it is ready to serve it looks amazing so for our next step is just to cook the samosas so make sure that your heat is on medium low you don't want to cook them over high heat guys once your oil is ready you will just put the samosa and you're going to cook them for at least three minutes while turning until they are nicely golden brown and as you can see the samosas are ready you're just going to remove them from the hot oil place them over a kitchen towel to release out more excess oil and that's just it the samosas are ready to serve So after you've removed them from the hot oil, you're just going to let them cool a bit and then serve. Serve them with your green chutney sauce. And let me tell you guys, you are really going to enjoy this. So go ahead, make it. And I guarantee you, these are going to be the best samosas you'll ever make at home. So go ahead, try it. And as usual, if you try it, don't forget to tell me how yours came out in the comment section down below. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more of my amazing recipes we can always connect on instagram or on tiktok at fields underscore kitchen so till my next video guys bye